All right, guys, line us back with a great new motherboard. This time it's the ASUS uh, P5QL Pro motherboard. It's an LGA775 socket. Great mid-range board. It's got more features than you'd really find on a low-end board. Not quite what you'd get on the high-end. Great for your mid-range uh, average gaming system, your home theater use, or just your good all-around computing uh, thing there. It's got a great uh, front-side bus uh, of up to 1600 megahertz if you want to go through and overclock the thing. And uh, so using the uh, Intel P43 chipset on it with the 45 nanometer support so you can use the new Penryn processors if you do want to go a little bit on the higher end on this particular motherboard. What really sets this motherboard out and stands, makes it stand apart from everything else is the uh, green PC uh, line from ASUS. Great energy saver, great environmentally friendly, it's ROHS compliant and has what ASUS called the EPU4 system on there. What that basically means is it can modulate power and even up to the point of shutting down certain parts of the motherboard that aren't in use. If you've got, uh, for instance, uh, has a lot of control over your memory, your CPU, hard drive, as well as the uh, graphics card on there. If you're doing something that's not really using one of those components, say you got four gigs of RAM in here, which by the way, the board does support up to 16 if you want to go into 64 bit. But say you got all four uh, slots filled up with memory and you're doing tasks which really don't require that, it's going to lower your power uh, draw over to the memory. Uh, which in the long run saves you money, saves you energy, makes your electrical bill go down, and it's better for the environment. Does that also with the CPU. If you're doing any kind of task that's not very CPU intensive, it's going to lower the power going to the CPU that's going to underclock it, undervolt it. Nice thing about that is also, especially with the CPU, that's going to lower the heat that the CPU is generating because now it's running a much uh, lower current, lower clock speeds, lower frequencies, which means that uh, your cooling is going to go down, which is also going to further uh, reduce the electrical power because now you don't have to crank that fan up at maximum uh, speed there to get enough cooling for your uh, motherboard. Another nice thing this motherboard has is it can boot up and be ready to use in as little as five seconds with something called ExpressGate technology. What that is is the built-in operating system right on the chipset for the motherboard. It's a Linux-based. It's uh, great for, you know, if you just need to get on real quick, you know, check your email. If you just want to surf the web real quick, do some IM. Don't even ever have to go into Windows to actually be able to use it. Then you have Windows on there. You can boot right to that. You know, when you need to go and play your games, watch a whole lot of movies, or if the computer's going to be on for a long period of time, you know, not something where it's just, you know, quick on and off type of thing. Uh, but that's on there as well. Pretty much becoming standard on all the ASUS motherboards is the uh, Easy Flash BIOS. Let you flash the BIOS and update right off of a USB drive. No more of the pesky floppy drives. It's archaic. Nobody uses them anymore. Uh, and uh, ASUS is uh, pretty much leading the way in getting it uh, right onto the USB. Great little feature to have there. Everyone's got these USB drives laying around. Got a thing on there called My Logo 2. Seen it on some of the older boards. Uh, you know when you turn on your uh, computer, if it's an off-the-shelf, it'll say up there who made the computer. It'll say Gateway, HP, Lenovo, or whoever like that. Uh, usually uh, when you build your own, it'll just say the motherboard manufacturer, ASUS. With my logo, you can actually take an image, uh, text, image file, pretty much anything really, graphics, put that up there so that when you turn on your computer, it's your computer. It says, you know, whatever you want it to say, show a nice picture on there, pretty much whatever you want something that uh, comes software-wise with the ASUS. Talk about a little bit of the specs. I did mention that the, uh, it uses the uh, Intel P43 chipset. Again, it's a nice mid-range chipset with the Penryn 45 nanometer support. Can pump the uh, front side bus up to the 1600 megahertz if you want to go in there and overclock it a little bit. The standard is the 1333 without any overclocking, which is still, uh, still pretty fast there. Uh, come around here, let's uh, come over to the board a little bit. Do have the four memory slots. It's DDR2 memory, up to 16 gigs if you want to go into the 64-bit. A lot of your boards are still only supporting eight. Supports up to the 1066 megahertz memory, uh, which again is with a slight overclock, but nothing uh, too much. And uh, the uh, software that the board comes with is going to really allow you to do that right on your own. Uh, standard is the 800 if you don't want to get into the overclocking. We come around here. There's your PCI Express 2.0 slot. That's the new standard for anything for graphics wise. Uh, you can even, if you decide you really want to, put the new 4870X2 in there. Um, just has the one so you don't have to really worry about your Crossfire SLI. Um, but it is a great thing to have on there. Uh, PCI Express uh, 1X or X1. 
that's kind of becoming the new standard for uh, things. It's probably going to be replacing PCI, uh, of which you do have three of, um, but it's going to be replacing the PCI a little bit later on down the road. Uh, you've already got some of your network cards on there coming out for the X1 slot, and a lot of stuff's going to be heading that way. Flip it this way. Okay, flip down to the bottom of the board here. Uh, what you do, you still do have that floppy port there on the motherboard. As I said, it is a legacy port, but some people still want it. Some people still got a lot laying around that they haven't transferred over to the USB flash drives yet or a CD, something like that. So you do have the option of a floppy there. Come around here, you've got um, headers for, this is uh, three headers, uh, up to six USB ports can go on there. You got two per port. Here's what's nice, you got your six SATA ports. Hook up up to six hard drives, or if you're using the new SATA optical drives, you're still covered there. Come around here, and nice place for the IDE uh, port there. Right on the front, so you don't have those big ribbon cables cluttering up the whole front of the board, getting in the way of everything else. Off to the side, goes right up into the case. Don't really have to worry about anything else. I'm going to go ahead and flip it whole uh, 180 degrees here. Show you the back panel, which you kind of missed out on the first time. Do still have your legacy uh, PS2 controllers for both keyboard and mouse. Uh, if you are still using the older ones, they're still pretty nice. They do they use fewer interrupts than uh, USB. A lot of your mice are still uh, on there because they tend to be a little bit more accurate. Um, here you do have your six USB ports. Gives you a total with the ones that are on the motherboard of 12. Here's an SPDIF. That's a digital audio output. Uh, great for your, uh, if you want to hook up to surround sound, you can go right out from there. If not, you've got your standard, um, standard audio ports right here on the side of the board. This one right here, that's a gigabit LAN, and it's on a PCI Express bus, so you're going to have great fast LAN connection right here uh, directly onto the motherboard. One thing we'll see, uh, kind of have to look at it from the side, uh, get that lined up right. It's a neat little design there on that uh, uh, heat sink there for the chipset. Otherwise, just looks uh, all around nice looking board here. Green motherboard, got built in uh, with Linux so you can power on real quick, get up and running if you just need to check something quick out. Um, other than that, uh, pretty much a standard board. Let's uh, look at some of the accessories that this one here comes with. I'm gonna reach right over here. Um, again, basic cables, nothing real out of the ordinary. Here you've got your IDE cable. Um, this one's a floppy here. Again, pretty much standard does come with two SATA connectors uh, for cables. Most people are use, still using the old IDE um, optical drives. Uh, you really don't see a whole lot of users with more than uh, two hard drives in there. You do have option for up to six, but they're giving you three cables here. Another nice little thing that they throw in there, your new hard drives are using this SATA power connector, but a lot of your, um, a lot of your uh, power supplies are still using this one here. This is the old Molex. What this one does, you plug in the one Molex, now you've got two SATA uh, power connectors. If you still want to move in a power supply from an older machine, you don't have to worry about whether it's going to be compatible with your hard drives or not. Other than that, you know, you're pretty much looking at uh, your standard stuff. This is a motherboard backplate. Now they do get a lot of uh, questions about that. A lot of people call in and telling me, you know, this motherboard's not compatible with my case. How do I make it? A lot of people don't realize this is in the board. You just pop the uh, old IO shield right off of your old case put this right on there, it's fully compatible. They do supply that with the motherboard, just like uh, pretty much standard. Everyone throws that one in. Other than that, um, pretty much showing you everything on here. Uh, great all around motherboard, great middle of the road board. Um, anything else, you know, just give us a call. We're always available here 24 seven. Linus, guys, I gotta get out of here for now. All right, guys, for more information on the ASUS P5QL Pro motherboard, go right over to CompUSA.com, type A455-2836 right into the search bar, or call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.